Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OIT channel. Today I came with another one informative role play card. This scenario is happening in hospital ward and you are talking to a patient. So we will see the scenario first then we will go go to one by one task. So you your patient is 20 years old and is recovering following an appendectomy earlier today. So underline that earlier today because you have to start with good morning because um, this pay, good morning or even with good afternoon it's okay fine because the surgery has um, finished in the morning. That due to ruptured appendix, he or she had a cannula inserted to administer antibiotics to treat an infection that is a peritonitis. The cannula has tissued is no longer working. So you see him or her to replace it and to do clinical observation. So from this paragraph, you came to know that this patient got admitted following uh, an appendectomy and uh, the cannula is already tissued. It's not working. And now you went to the patient to replace it and to do clinical observation. So you have to uh, procedure uh, to carry out with the patient. Now, uh, the one thing I have to tell you that for all hospitalized patient, please ask patient's name during three minutes preparation time and write it over the paper itself. Example, in this scenario, we can assume that patient's name is John. Then you can see the first task, explain reason for seeing patient that means it's like a new scenario you are entering into the room and you are wishing you are greeting the patient and you are you have to self introduce and you can start conversation so that is the scenario is going on so what is the thing you have to explain replacing cannula due to tissue clinical observation find out how patient is feeling about the pain fatigue nausea so they have given two uh, sub tasks so how we can start uh, good morning mr john then wait for the greeting back okay after patients greet back you can continue i am rashmi rajan one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward i am the in charge nurse for you today or i am the i am the one taking care of you today actually i came here to replace your cannula because it is tissued and it's not working well as well as for clinical observation before proceeding further may i know how you are feeling now do you have any pain fatigue or any nausea so that is the first uh, task together you can ask then the answer will be uh, yes i'm fine sister but still i have pain over the surgical dressing and i'm feeling tired uh, but not nauseated or anything else then the answer will be thank you mr john for your information and uh, i can reassure you that this pain is normal so the, our the second task is re reassure about the pain it's a normal temporary give information about the pain relief already administered time needed for full effect etc often to speak to doctor about additional pain relief so we have three tasks here sub task here you can do like that. we can tell like this okay mr john thank you for information and i would like to reassure you that regarding your pain it is a normal after surgery and i can tell you that it is temporary one with the pain relieving measures it can be relieved and um, i can uh, tell you that we have already administered you the pain medication before one hour but it will take time for its full effect so please wait for that effect of course you will get a uh, benefit but even after one hour if you are not getting any uh, relief please notify me and um, i will talk with your doctor about additional pain relief how does that sound like that we can ask and the next task will be stress doctor to visit after patient is settled on ward and clinical observation because we have to give we need to give details of operation and recovery explain need to replace the cannula before doctor's visit current cannula is not working need to continue treatment of infection with antibiotics and maintain hydration so here we are explaining something because a patient had asked something and we are giving the answer assume the question okay or else you can ask how does that sound we asked so the patient's answer will be uh yes yeah, sister uh, i think you probably need some extra uh, actually i need some extra pain relief so it would be grateful if you could speak to the doctor without any delay now itself and i i'm thinking that when doctor will come and examine me and he can prescribe any strong anti uh, strong painkillers for me it will be a relief for uh, my pain 
then we can reassure the patient uh, with these reasonings and all because first we need to do the cannulation recannulation and we have to check the vital signs then only we can inform the doctor so how we can state it uh, mr john i can truly understand your concern but no need to worry and really i want to tell you that uh, the doctor of course the doctor will visit you without any delay but it is mandatory for me to do your clinical observation and replace cannula before doctor's visit because when he will come here um, actually you are, um, he will of course he will ask me about your clinical observation that is a vital signs and all so if you allow me to do the recannulation and uh, the clinical observation it will be beneficial to produce a report in front of doctor moreover i would like to tell you that the current cannula is not working anymore and for preventing you from infection um, doctor has prescribed some antibiotics and special as well as your hydration also will be provided through this cannulation only so it is very much important for you to have this recannulation without any delay are you getting my point mr john so like that you can give all information to the early the patient's answer will be uh, yes sister i can understand then you can ask do you have any more doubts or any concern the question will be could you please explain me why this cannula got tissued then we can explain give a reason for tissue of cannula like accumulation of fluid patient moving around uh, the veins fragile find out any other patient concern you can answer that yes your questions are reasonable i can answer for that uh, maybe the tissue the tissueing of cannula can be maybe because of many reasons such as accumulation of fluid over there and maybe you are moving around the bed so sometimes by mistakenly also the cannula can be misplaced displaced and sometimes the veins will be very fragile after surgery so these are the possible reason for tissue and do you want me to explain anything more like that we can ask so this question should not be repeated if you ask one one time you can ask do you have any other concern otherwise you can ask is it okay for you and is there anything to be clarified is there to, anything to be um, explained am i clear is it clear how does that sound like that many connective sentences are there you can just write it down in a cardboard and keep it with you always when you will practice the role play card when you finish 10 or 15 cards it will be by heart for you so you can use without the paper also don't repeat any uh, connective sentences then the next task will be emphasize the advantage of delivering antibiotics through cannula direct to blood stream faster acting more effective for infection explain when parent is like pa patient is likely to be changed to oral medication in few days establish patient's concern to you to re replace cannula and to do clinical observation actually they have given many sub tasks so how you can handle all these questions we already asked do you have anything to be clarified then patient's question will be uh, could you please tell me sister is it necessary for recannulation um i can suggest you that i can take the antibiotic in the tablet form so is the talking then the answer will be um, mr john i can truly understand your feelings i know that you are feeling that the cannulation will be painful but um, i can tell you the advantage of um, this cannulation because the antibiotics are prescribed as injection form and if we are injecting through intravenously that means through the cannula it will directly goes into the blood stream very fast and the action also will be more effective than oral tablet and uh, regarding the oral medication no need to worry after a few days your doctor will change the intravenous in uh, route to oral route once you will settle down without any infection you uh, you can continue with the oral tablet as per doctor's consultation Uh, are you getting my point like that we can ask in between then the next thing will be do you have any more concern the patient's answer will be no sister i don't have any more concern so okay fine then we can tell that okay mr john i have i hope i have clarified all your doubts if you don't have any other question may i proceed with replacement of cannula and your clinical observation so that is established patient's concern okay you have to ask in that way if you don't have any other question may i proceed with your replacement of cannula and clinical observation with your consent that's enough okay then the answer will be as yes, of course you can then we can tell thank you so that is the winding up of this role play card so this is second role play card actually it is pretty much bigger so you can expect in second role play in this the important thing is 
time management you have to be enough fast to include conclude include every points within 5 minutes so what you have to do always uh, uh, practice with someone uh, like your friends colleagues or uh, your um, workmates or somewhere somewhere you will have some oity friends or even with your um, husband's or wife or with your children you can do the role play cards as much as possible how much you can do just practice it then only the flow of sentences will come or as you will be stuck over there you will search for the next sentence so it will give you a bad presentation and it will affect your mark so i hope this role play card is um, beneficial for you practice well and you can make speaking very easy so we will see with another one informative video until then bye take care